Welcome back to this, the series of uh, development uh, diary in which we uh, explain what it is that we are doing uh, under the cover to uh, deliver to you Future Tax Server, uh, aka FTS2. And this time that um, is the first really exciting feature that really is not a single feature but demonstrate a fundamental capability uh, we call it the smart uh, emergency so let's go for it so what is the smart emergency uh, if you are familiar with the TAC uh, you know that a TAC client can create an emergency and when that happens what uh, will be happening on other clients is that something will flash um, on the screen of all the connected clients and everyone in the network is going to be aware of the emergency. So what is the limitation of it? Uh, if you have a lot of users uh, and those users are very far from each other, uh, probably not everyone is uh, interested in an emergency. Um, that depends also on the type of user. Think about the difference between having users that are flying a airplane so they can move 2,000 kilometers per hour versus uh, a user that is on a vehicle so can probably move 200 kilometers per hour and a user that is walking and so can only move, you know, 2 kilometers per hour. So depending from the type of user the interest of the area changes but for sure it's not good that everyone get everything so we want to reduce the time that the operator is spending looking at a screen of a small tactical device and that is what we call situational awareness level two so situ situational awareness level two means that rather than simply providing a description of the situation we can understand the situation and address the uh, relevant part to the relevant users how is that working so we have implemented something called smart emergency the smart emergency is uh, based on two uh, features technical features that we have presented in past videos one is the domain model and the other one is the rule engine the first part one is the domain model so fts to x not only simply pass information but analyze the information and understand that okay now we have an emergency and the emergency is passed through the emergency component and we can execute rules when i say rules means that we can execute any type of rule. What we are going to present here is a simple example. So in this example, we have the emergency that is located here, and we have set a rule that if the user is under 10 kilometer of distance, then we'll get the emergency. So here we have the emergency and we have delta one that is within the circle of 10 kilometer. He is going to be notified. Eco one is outside of the circle and is not going to be notified. So the rule definition is very simple and is a JSON file, as you can see. And that rule can be deployed on runtime. And that means that if you want to change the rule from 20 kilometers, from 10 to 20, or, you know, reduce it, you can do that. But as I said previously, that is only one example of what is that we can do with the FTS2X technology, because we can apply the same to any type of cot. As you know, a cot is the type of information that a tax server and tax clients are managing. And for example, we could extend that also to user types saying, if you are flying, your threshold is going to be 1000 kilometer and if you're driving it's going to be 100 kilometer and if you are walking it's going to be one kilometer and any other combination so we are inviting the community to provide the ideas of business rules to be implemented 
but even if you are not technical as soon we have it out would be easy to implement your own rules so thank you for watching and stay tuned for additional feature of ftf 2x